Traditional Sunday. For most likely, longer than any of us can remember. I believe it would be better named Journey Sunday. I googled the word presentation, and there were two meanings that came up. One, the giving of something to someone, especially as part of a formal ceremony. Two, a speech or a talk in which a new product, idea, or piece of work is shown and explained to an audience. As I see it, the purpose of Parker, Helen, Emily, Harper, and Kagan's presentations doesn't fit either of those definitions. I would suggest that we call this day journey Sunday. You have come this far on your journey of faith. It's a journey that began before you were born and was claimed for you by your parents and sponsors on the day that you were baptized. On May 19th, when you are confirmed, you will affirm that faith. And today you will have the privilege of sharing not what you have learned over these past two years, but what you believe. In your own words, you will also tell us how you will step forward as a faithful member of the Church of Jesus Christ. <clears throat> After listening to you rehearse what you are about to say, I'm convinced that you all are well aware that confirmation is not a graduation, but it's another step in your life's journey of faith. Many thanks to all who have been at your side in faith formation, your parents and family, your mentors, your sponsors, and especially Megan Harris, who has guided you for many, many weeks. As we listen to what you have to say, I think it would be a good idea for all of us here to think about writing our own statements of faith and to renew our faith commitment wherever we find ourselves today on our faith journey. Now it is my privilege to present to you Parker Helke, Helen Hutton, Emily Coy, Harper Krause, and Kaden Cook. One at a time, <laughs> starting now. Hello, I'm Parker Helke. The verse I picked was 1 Samuel 16, 7. It says, but the Lord said to Samuel, do not look at his appearance or his statue, because I have rejected him. Man does not see what the Lord sees. For man sees what is visible, but the Lord sees the heart. The reason I want to be confirmed is because I can be part of the Lord and his followers and later go into heaven. The meaning of faith means to believe in the words of God or the eyes around him. The main word is believe. Becoming part of St. Paul's United Church of Christ to me means being part of our people and community. I will present and express my faith to the Lord and our church to show show my devotion and being an active member of our church. The church has already accepted me as one of the members and treats me like one. The church can help me through my experiences. The things I can do for the church is present my faith, present my faith and do things to give. Jesus and the church require me to be part of them and show my faith. I should give as much money that is needed of me and to manage something well or to conduct things. Stewardship to me means being open to the Lord and letting me in and letting him into my life. My quote is from Jeremiah 29 11. For I know the plans I have for you, declares the Lord. Plans to prosper you and not to harm you. Plans to give you hope and future. I chose this quote because it offers me reassurance and guidance as I navigate life's uncertainties. The quote tells me that my future is in God's hands and that everything will work out. 
It assures me that the decisions I make in upcoming years, such as which college I attend and my future career, are rightful. It gives me comfort to know that God's plans for me are based on goodness and prosperity. To me, to have faith means to have trust and confidence in God. Having faith helps me in every aspect of my life and gives me a sense of purpose, guidance, and support. To be confirmed is to complete your baptism. It means that one is sealed with the gift of the Holy Spirit and is accepting responsibility for the faith and destiny. I want to be confirmed to have a closer relationship to God and to officially become a member of the church. Becoming a member of St. Paul's means that I will be able to have a stronger connection to my church, my faith, and my community. My church has provided me with a place to worship, be inspired, and connect with others. I hope that in the future, even during times of change, that our church will remain unified. I also hope that in the future, the church can do more volunteer work to improve our community and the lives of the unfortunate. To show my devotion to being an active member of our church, I will volunteer for various church events and provide donations when possible. In conclusion, a quote from Jeremiah 29 11 guides me on my faith journey, reminding me of God's unwavering love and promise for a hopeful future. Through confirmation, I embrace my role as a member of the church community and hope to deepen my spiritual connection and serve others with kindness and care. I am grateful to be confirmed at St. Paul's UCC. My name is Emily Coy and my verse is 2 Corinthians 4.18. So we fix our eyes not on what is seen, but on what is unseen. Since what is seen is temporary, but what is unseen is eternal. I chose this verse because it describes how there is so much more to life than what we are able to hold in our hands or purchase at a store. There will always be things that we want or places we wish to visit, but our faith and love in God should always be our first priority through life. I want to be confirmed because I want to affirm my personal commitment and grow in the knowledge, love, and practice my faith. To me, faith means knowing that I have the Lord with me always through good times and bad, knowing and believing that God is with me through any challenge I may stumble upon, realizing that he will lead me to make good decisions and may also be by my side to get me past those choices or obstacles to proceed moving through, for moving forward into my path of existence. To me, becoming a member of St. Paul's means that I, as a seventh generation, I am proudly continuing on our family's legacy here at the church. This church has done so many amazing things for me and shown me so many new things, which has helped me strengthen my relationship with God and give me a family I never thought I would appreciate as much as I do. I will be sharing my devotion to being an active member of our church by attending church, participating in events and services to show my dedication I have to this church now that I am a part of this community like my family has come before me. I will also give 10% of my income when I am able to, but for now I will try my best to volunteer to help the church with anything they need, they may need assistance with. Thank you all for encouraging me to participate more within the church and showing me kindness without judgment. I picked the verse Deuteronomy chapter 31 verse 8. The Lord himself will lead you and be with you. He will not fail you nor abandon you. So don't so do not lose courage or be afraid. I picked this verse because it's very comforting to me. The verse also tells us that God will never give up on us. I want to be confirmed so that I can become a member of St. Paul's just like so many of my family members before me, including the great great Wesley Helke. Becoming a member of St. Paul's means I will be a valuable member to the congregation and help make decisions to improve the church. For the church, I will help by acolyting, working in the kitchen, or working in the nursery. I can help the Sunday school's kids with any special projects they might have to. Throughout many years of Sunday school, the last couple years in confirmation, the church has provided me with education about God and how to spread his word. Jesus and his church requires me to be a good person and be true to myself. I will give 10% of my income to the church while I'm volunteering my time and talents. 
Stewardship is an act of helping God and the church and people. Along with volunteering in the church, I'll be a steward of the community and volunteer when I can. To me, laying on the hands means my growth in the church. When I get when I was baptized, baptized, I became a daughter of God and to the church. When I get confirmed, I'll be a daughter, a daughter of God and to the church. Thank you. Coots. I am in the eighth grade, and I am the son of Keith and Candace Hughes. The Bible verse I chose, Genesis 1.26, Then God said, Let us make man in our image after our likeness, and let them have dominion over the fish of the sea, and over the birds of the heavens, and over the livestock, and over all the earth, and over every creepy thing that creeps on the earth. I chose this verse because I believe it tells us that man can do just as great thing of things as God if we work together. I believe God did not give the earth to us and walk away, but expects us to be responsible stewards over his beautiful creation, to care for the earth and for each other. I want to join St. Paul's and be part of its congregation because I want to be closer to God and I want this to be my faith community. I want to join this church so I can meet other Christians. St. Paul's congregation has always made me feel at home and always been really nice to me, so it would be a great honor to be part of this congregation. St. Paul's Church has helped me to have more faith and to meet other Christians. The church is helping me to become a better person by helping me learn and study more about God. The church can provide me with the spiritual support, community service opportunities, and amazing people to talk to, too. St. Paul's gives me a safe and welcoming place to learn about God. I enjoy my devotion to the church by serving community meals, helping the kitchen, holiday breakfast, playing piano as I learn music, and by ushering and lighting candles on Sundays. I can also give the church 10% of my future earnings. Furthermore, I can show my devotion to God and the church by putting my time in by doing things I've listed. I can also do my duties as a member of the church by helping serve as a faithful member of the community. <clears throat> Stewardship is a care for something or someone on God's behalf because the act of caring enriches our lives and the lives of others. My duties to the church are to pray and take time out of my day for God, to give money to help pay for items the church needs. I should give as much time as I can, helping with community meals during Sunday service or helping feed people at the community shelter. Most importantly, introducing people to Christian faith and inviting them to the church. Confirmation to me means to confirm promises that were made when I was first baptized, to become a full member of the church and to recognize and confirm my first baptism. Laying on the hands is associated with receiving the Holy Spirit. It means the invoking of Holy Spirit during baptism, confirmations, and blessings. To be confirmed means that you are to be rebaptized, where the Holy Spirit enters into you and purges you of the effects of sin from before you were confirmed. It introduces you into the church as a redeemed person in Christ. Thank you. <clears throat> 